Hey YouTube, Scotty Triple here. Today I'm going to show you how to replace your factory brake fluid reservoirs on a Triumph Street Triple R with these Triumph anodized ones. First a warning, don't get any brake fluid on your bike. Brake fluid is nasty stuff and if left long enough will damage your bike's paintwork. Also make sure you do your best not to get any air bubbles into the brake lines. If you do, you will need to bleed your brakes. I will be covering how to do this in a future video, but there are also many other videos on YouTube showing how to do this properly. First, let's go over the things you'll need to do this job. You'll need a 10mm socket or a 10mm wrench, an 8mm socket on a 1 quarter inch ratchet and short extension, a few pipettes to suck the fluid out of the brake reservoirs, a pair of needle nose pliers for hose clamps, a Phillips screwdriver, a new unopened bottle of DOT4 brake fluid, a container to empty the old reservoirs into, a cloth to catch any drips or spills, and a roll of paper towel handy just in case you get brake fluid anywhere you don't mean to. Take the cloth and place it around the rear brake reservoir. This will protect the area from any spills. Unscrew the fluid reservoir cap and remove the insert so that we can drain the fluid from the reservoir into a container using one of the pipettes. Be careful when removing the brake fluid from the reservoir. You don't want any fluid to get on your bike. Once the reservoir has been drained, you can unbolt the reservoir from the rear swing arm. There is a bolt on the back of the reservoir that needs to be held in place by a 10mm socket or wrench. I held the 10mm socket in my left hand and used an 8mm socket and ratchet in my right hand to loosen the bolt. Take your pliers and gently take off the clamp holding the hose to the reservoir. Be careful not to nick the hose while you're removing the clamp. Next, pull the hose off the reservoir. This may take a bit of wiggling, but it will come free. Be careful not to spill any brake fluid. Now to install the new reservoir, all we need to do is repeat the previous steps. Start by sliding the hose back onto the new reservoir. Use the pliers to slide the clip back into place. Using a 10mm socket or wrench, hold the nut from behind the reservoir and thread the bolt back into place using an 8mm socket. Now, open the new bottle of brake fluid. It's always a good idea to do brake work using a fresh bottle as old bottles can be contaminated with moisture if they have been opened before. Remove the new brake reservoir lid and rubber seal. Using a clean pipette, not the one that you used to drain the old brake fluid, refill the reservoir to the full line. There are two lines marked on the outside of the reservoir. Use these as your guide. Replace the rubber gasket while being careful not to push out any brake fluid. And reinstall the lid. For the front reservoir, you need to lift the bike on a rear stand or have a helper hold the bike upright. With a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the clip holding the lid in place. And then place a rag under the reservoir. Remove the lid and carefully drain the reservoir using the dirty pipette you used to drain the rear reservoir. With the reservoir now empty, you can take an 8mm socket and unbolt the front reservoir from the bracket. 
Just like the rear reservoir, take the pliers and slide the clip down and wiggle the hose free from the reservoir. Be careful not to spill any more brake fluid. Now to install the front reservoir, just slide the hose onto the fitting. Slide the clamp in place and bolt it to the bracket. Remove the new reservoir's lid and gasket. Unlike the stock reservoir, there is no screwed on clip holding it in place. Using the new pipette used to fill the rear reservoir, carefully fill the front with fresh brake fluid. Fill the front reservoir up to the second line on the outside of the reservoir. And that's all there is to it. My brake fluid was fairly new so I didn't want to bleed my brakes. I also didn't need to bleed them because I drained them from the top and it's also very unlikely that any air bubbles work their way past the master cylinder. These reservoirs look much nicer than the factory ones and have a lid that I feel is much more secure. I hope you enjoyed this how-to video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe. Look out for more motorcycle how-to videos, product reviews, and motovlogs. Thanks for watching.